All right, boys, it's been a few weeks since I've seen you last in our Lions CFM. We are currently undefeated, playing the undefeated Buffalo Bills in Week 12. Obviously, uh, this team outmatches us. There's no question about it, but the Detroit Lions, especially in Ford Field, are going to have a lot of heart, a lot of fight. Not so much there on the Mark Andrews halfback base. Yes, Stephon Diggs is not on the Buffalo Bills. He makes a trade for Mark Andrews to play him actually at running back. The audibles to five wide a ton. We throw an interception. Don't really feel like it was that bad of a read. His safety just made an absolutely outstanding play. Isaiah McKenzie is just tearing our defense apart. And then Mark Andrews. I mean, we can see why he traded for him. Got rid of Stephon Diggs, which normally would be a controversial thing to do. But I mean, Mark Andrews already has both touchdowns for my opponent. Jared Goff missing some tough throws right there. And then on a seemingly wide open pass on third and 10, we get intercepted by Ed Oliver, a nose tackle. Um, <laughs> yeah, not something you want to see there. And then Mark Andrews for the third touchdown of the game. We're down 21 nothing at home in front of our home team fans. It's not looking good. It's not going to get any better. We throw another interception right here. And yeah, we lose this game easily. Dude, I was ready to deliver an absolutely amazing speech and everything is absolutely tangled right now. It's throwing me off, but boys, listen, we have an absolutely monumental game here in week 16 against the eight and six playoff contending. Damn it, I messed up. Carolina Panthers. I almost had it. I had to think about where they were from for a second. It literally says right there with the three letter code. We have the playoff picture. We have some weekly awards. We have a breakout quarterback message. I'm, I'm going to assume it's it's Jared Goff. I mean, I don't even know who my backup is. I'm going to be honest. Let's go ahead and check out the playoff picture first, though. Now, we are currently the two seed. The San Francisco 49ers are the one seed, which is a bit surprising. I haven't been keeping up with the records, you know, across the league. I thought with a record of 12 and 2, it would be good enough for first, but clearly not. So at this point, I think we really just control our own destiny. We just win every game we play from this point forward. I mean, we have the Packers and the Bears coming up as well. Both of those guys really are outside looking in as far as the playoffs go. So those should be relatively easy wins right there. We do have some weekly awards as well. Last week, Jared Goff, I believe for the second time, gets the NFC Offensive Player of the Week. 23 for 39, 307 and four passing touchdowns. I mean, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, and because of that performance, he gets his second breakout game of the year. I mean, it's it's obviously Jared Goff. I don't even know why I just doubted it for a second, but coach Jared Goff is coming off a stellar game. Is he in the process of taking the very next step? And this is a huge one, boys, because this is his game to go up to superstar, unlock those abilities, throw one or fewer interceptions, and have 350 scrimmage yards or four total touchdowns with Jared Goff. So 350 yards is not an easy thing to do. It, it certainly isn't, especially against a guy with with a good record like this. So the four touchdowns might be more achievable. Maybe we give ourselves better field position by playing good defense, sending pressure, getting turnovers on my opponent's side of the field. So I think that's the plan for now. We also have a message here about a hot opponent. Insult the opponent or be confident. I mean, you guys know me, I'm a little toxic, all right? I would love to insult my opponent. We're actually playing Outlaw, a good friend of mine. This guy actually helped me build the website, teamgetlucky.com. Well, not really helped me. He pretty much did the whole thing by himself. Absolutely awesome, dude. I'm sure he's a great Madden player as well. So this is not gonna be an easy game for us. And we do have some upgrades right here. Amon Ross St. Brown is going up to a 90 overall at tight end. Now, you know, since I've seen you guys last, we really haven't made any roster changes. I think going into season two, our objective is going to be to draft the tight end, maybe trade for one, get one in free agency and move Amon Ra back to wide receiver. But he's been all right at tight end, you know, obviously not his optimal position with Brock Wright being our second best option. I think it makes the most sense to play in there. Aiden Hutchinson, though, has some crazy boost right now. 87 overall awareness. Acceleration, actually a decent upgrade for our defensive line. And then the last notable upgrade here is a Fitu Melifanu, our user. We'll go with the hybrid, the scheme fit. He goes up to a 70 overall awareness and man coverage. So nothing too impressive with the upgrades there. Now, I'm interested to see if he's made any changes to the Panthers roster. Now, obviously, you know, with the departure of Chris McCaffrey to the Niners, 
they're not really that great. Like they do have some decent players. Brian Burns, 89 speed. DJ Moore, 94 speed, superstar wide receiver. So they do have some players, but I think going into season two, this is a young team that could definitely improve. They have a lot of draft picks from the Niners, but yeah, I mean, Jeremy Tin, he looks insane. 93 speed, six foot three. JC Horn, one of the best young corners in the NFL. Actually had a terrific season. He's good in Madden as well. Dante Jackson, 96 speed. The secondary is very good. If he plays a lot of man coverage, we could potentially have some trouble. Now, again, we do we do have Jamison Williams. We do have Amon Ra. Um, he's got Ika Mekwanu here, the superstar tackle. CJ Henderson. Yeah, those corners are really, really good, man. Terrace Marshall looks like a super underrated wide receiver. Young, six foot three, 91 speed. It's definitely a decent team. Like I said, young, fast, great secondary. I'm ready for the challenge, though, man. Let's go out there. Let's get Jared Goff his superstar abilities. All right, so he's in tight offset tight end, which is kind of something I wasn't hoping to see. This offense is so incredibly difficult to stop. He's going to go with the 0-1 trap, but we got great 0-1 trap defense, baby. Come on. Now, again, in order to achieve this goal of getting 350 plus yards or four touchdowns, which, again, I feel like is... It's the more likely scenario of the two. We're going to have to play great defense, force turnovers, give ourselves a good field position. So let's see if we can, you know, limit the run to start. And then we'll go ahead and start sending the heat on later downs. There's a slant here. And oh my goodness, Aiden Hutchinson. Was he even touched? Third and 17 early. All right, I'm running to cover three cell right here. Double slot corner blitz. I'm pass committing. That way, if you're in play action, you just get sacked. <laughs> get sacked anyway. Reggie Robinson. Another sack early on, fourth and 20. We get the ball back. Should have decent field position here. We should get a return here with Raymond and... <laughs> I mean, there's nowhere to go. Now, I'm going to go up top to Jamo in the first play. Hopefully, he doesn't blitz. He doesn't. Only a four-man rush. Jamo Williams, he's 98 speed. He's got a step. It's slightly under the throw, but it's caught regardless. Up inside the 10, what a dot. Jamo Williams, baby, what a catch. Oh, taking a sack is not what we wanted there. Ah, oh, there's that man coverage I was talking about. Absolutely deadly. Will this block? Cut inside, beautiful right there, man. What a block from, I believe that might have been Tyler Boyd. We're in the end zone, one of four touchdowns. I think we easily have like, what, 60 yards already with Jared Goff as well. Although these quarters are pretty short. They're only five minutes as opposed to the usual six. So again, this challenge is even harder. He's got some great pocket and, oh my God, that's gotta be a fumble, man. Oh no. Oh, he throws a wide open touchdown and the ball goes through his, well, not necessarily through his hands, but right over the top of his fingertips. Holy smokes. See if he goes back to it here. He actually goes to the run and Shuba Hubbard's able to pick up the first. Now to stop this deep bomb, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna place my outside left corner, Akuda, in an outside third as opposed to a match corner. I goes with the scramble again, puts my user on skates. Pocket presence is solid, man. Reminds me of myself. That was, I was sucking myself off right there. That's my bad. <laughs> I can't do too much of that. I mean, he's going to go back to that bomb a million percent. As soon as we see play action, there it is. We outside third of this time. We're ready for it. Akuda coming over. I mean, it's just a great adjustment. That's a great adjustment. I wish you didn't fall over your own teammate, but that's fine. Just dragged a slot corner in. I could see him possibly blitzing here. I'm going to block an extra guy. We'll hit our flat. Just because we need a lot of yards and a lot of touchdowns doesn't mean, you know, we're just not going to take our checkdowns. Again, passing is not easy. So if he gives us that, definitely going to take it. Oh, Amon Ra. Put him on skates, Amon Ra. Get that block out there. Let's go. Come on, baby. Up to the 43, 123 yards already. We have to end this drive with seven. Oh, we have a step on him. <laughs> it was slightly underthrown. Well, not slightly, very underthrown. But uh, a catch regardless from Josh Reynolds, who hasn't necessarily had a big season for us so far, but a monstrous catch with Brian Burns delivering pressure. But look at me on my commentary right now. My commentary game goes crazy. He's a man. He audibled at the last second. Don't do anything stupid. Just throw the ball away. I wonder if he has a tell or something. He audibles at the last second. It kind of throws me off. 
Oh, we had the slant open right side. Pressure gets home. Now, this is really four down territory. Um, you know, I don't love saying that, but it, it really and truly is. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to look to a seam streak here. I'm also going to look maybe to the running back out of the backfield. Almoner on the double move. A lot of different options here. Wow. I thought we had Amon Ra in the end zone. A nice lure for my opponent underneath. Drops it because of a bad timing ball hawk. And I mean, there's no point in taking three now, right? We're going for a superstar dev game. I don't absolutely love it, but. Wow. Oh, not ideal, K Mac. Not ideal. Maybe it's not going to be as easy as we thought it was. I thought we got off to a fantastic start, but his defensive line, his secondary. It's tough, man. Just the run here in Aquora. Nice block shed. Goes up top and... Wow. Tommy Tremble leaving Deshaun Elliott in the dirt. It's our superstar safety. Getting smoked by what? Tremble's got to be like a 68 overall or something like that. Oh, that's a tough one. He's right back in the game now, too. I don't even... Uh, I'm going to go down. I'm going to go down. I'm going to go down at the five... Uh, well, the five, the four. <laughs> I... I know it's a, a controversial uh, thing to do right there. We do want to win the game. We do want to potentially get the one seed at the minimum the two. But again, I'm going for Jared Goff's dev game. It's so much more important to me. We'll just pretend, you know, he got, uh, he got hit by the turf monster. No, it's, oh, he almost double clutches it. Amon Ra, come on, baby. Jared Goff, number two of the game. It was the right decision to go down inside the five. We get, we get a second touchdown. We're halfway there already, midway through the second quarter. Khalif Raymond puts us in great position, man. Attacks the seams right there to sign Elliott. Big hit. Two for four, 102. Both completions going to Tommy Tremble. We're going to have to watch out for him. Oh, no. Oh, I had a terrible user right there with Elliott at top. Good run. He's across midfield already. I was hoping to get the ball back before half. Maybe, maybe potentially get another touchdown with Jared Goff, but now we have to worry about keeping him out the end zone. Same thing, cover four. You know, without hot route master, it's going to be tough for him to beat it. You do have to watch the quick seams as well. Who is Williams? Who is number 85 on his team? He actually goes with the run here and... Uh, is it short? I think it's short. It is short. Fourth and in inches for the opponent. It was on goal line. I got to take a timeout. I should have waited. That was me being impatient right there. All right, never mind. He changed his mind. He's in gun at tight offset once again. I'm actually going to flip this. And run it this way so i have my slot corner on the running back side to stop any sort of quick running back dump off i gotta watch for hitches here potentially drag he tries to step up takes a huge shot and somehow still hangs on to it wow that's great coverage we had two interior defensive linemen who somehow couldn't tackle him before he that uh, was tough that was frustrating that's fine he's got the post but finally the pressure gets there Cora, the Cora bros. I, I think they're brothers. I would assume they are. Maybe cousins or something. But yeah, they play uh, on the interior defensive line. And they've been having a decent little game for us so far. 24 seconds and tick in here. I'm going to play Cloud Flats. Cover four and not a bad user. Not a bad user. All right. I think running the ball is essentially off the table at this point. So I'm going to go back to Dollar here. He's only got one timeout. I'm going to heat him up. I mean, if we can, if we can get a sack here, we're definitely going to limit him to at most three points. Steps up right here. Is he going to use his last? Well, it's fourth down. Yeah, he's, he's obviously just going to take it down here. I probably should have called a timeout immediately. That way, maybe we could get some garbage garbage yards there before half with Jared Goff. But yeah, hindsight's 20-20. All right, 14-10 a half. I mean, we're up four. We do get ball as well. This is a big drive for us, all right? This is really going to determine, one, if we win the game, and then two, if we're going to be able to go ahead and achieve our goals with Jared Goff. So let's come out of half firing, man. Let's have a great drive. A 
It's a decent user, but Jamo Williams is too fast, man. 98 speed up top over the user, Jeremy Chen. That should tack on, what, at least another 60 yards. Our third touchdown of the game with Jared Goff. We're one away from hitting our goal, but again, we can't throw any interceptions. I think we can maybe throw one, but any more than that, and again, we lose our goal regardless of whether or not we hit the yards or the total touchdowns. Oh, yeah. Come on, Akora. Two and a half sacks? Come on, kid. Have yourself a game. No reason to switch anything up until he proves that he's comfortable beating it. Deep post route, I mean... Wow. Okay. I guess we got to switch it up now. What a dot. Threading the needle right there. Jesse Bates. I mean, he's a great safety. He's been awesome. He's been awesome for us this season. But yeah, that's that's the downside. He, he's not terribly fast. Goes with the run here in the two-point conversion. We swallow it up. 21 to 16. Let's go get Jared Goff's fourth touchdown. Make this a two-possession game once again. Amon Rod down the sideline. Great dot. 266, 9 for 14, three touchdowns for Jared. We got press on the left hand side. Not going to be open. Reynolds takes a shot. That was a hospital ball right there. Holy smokes. Oh, Raymond! Oh! <laughs> Oh, I thought that was going to be an interception. Raymond comes in for the tired Josh Reynolds, makes a huge catch. I mean, yeah, not really known for his ability to go up there and jump balls, but he does He does right there. Back to man coverage inside the 10 here. I'm, again, I'm going with the crossers play. I'm there on the backside. It's absolutely caged. Still ball away. Looks like man again, potentially. I'm going to look to my trail route here to Amra. Nothing open. Throw the ball away. Oh, I saw the defender too late. Amari Barno. Wow, that's tough. Oh, what a tot! A little lollipop right over the user. Almond on the end zone. Contested coverage. Hangs on to it. Wow, Jared Goff achieves his goal so far. Again. We can't we can't throw any interceptions, but wow. What a what a dot to end it on, honestly. Pressure! Come on, fellas, let's go, Aiden. Aiden, third sack of the game. On the biggest drive of the game as well. Aiden, number four? Oh, third and a half. All right, fourth and 29. I mean, I don't know if he has much of a choice. Down 12, he might as well go for it. I mean, even if he, you know, doesn't get this and holds me to three, he's, he's still only down two possessions. So this is probably the right decision. The only thing is I'm blitzing everybody right here. So we actually get nano detected and he makes the catch, but he's actually short of the first down marker. Now I think it's time to take some time off the clock. Again, we're going to keep the ball on the ground here. Limit my ability to accidentally throw an interception. Those hard flats there, and oh my goodness. It's good defense. I didn't think he'd play hard flats on, on that down and distance. I can't lie. We try to hit our flat. His guy gets there early. It's going to bring up a fourth and four. We're obviously going to go for this. Great patience. Jamo Williams takes a big shot, but he's up to the 12. Picks up a much needed conversion. Woo! Yeah, I mean, the blocking was outstanding right there. Run away from the slot corner here. At the user, nice cut back. We'll just sit down on this one. All right, boys, let's go ahead and kneel this one out. Yeah, it was a, it was a great game, man. I, I can't lie. There we go. Yeah, couldn't ask for a better result. We get the win, and I, I'm pretty sure 
We get Jared Goff's superstar abilities. Like, I mean, I could be wrong. I think I counted right. Four touchdowns. Yes, yeah, 62% for Jared Goff, 333 and four touchdowns. It really was a terrific performance in offense. All right, here we go. We have our message about our QB breakout. Coach, another huge day for Jared Goff. He seems to be placing his name among the upper echelon of signal callers. That was just like, just so advanced. Crazy SAT words right there. Jared Goff now has superstar dev trade. He gets some abilities, but I wonder if he gets any good ones. I'm not sure. All right, so Jared Goff, 80. What is he, an 80 overall? Yeah, 80 overall. Um, <laughs> I don't think any of these are very good. We'll go with quick draw, which might be decent. Uh, quicker throwing animations under pressure. And then for the second one, tight out, high point dead eye, persistent safety valve. Bulldozer, do we throw bulldozer on Jared Goff? I think we'll probably go with the, the high point dead eye or maybe the tight out. That could be decent as well. Yeah, we'll go with the tight out, tight out and quick draw. I mean, not the best, but also not the worst. I'm, I'm definitely ecstatic to have a superstar quarterback.